Hey folks, uh, here we go, geometric sequences. So geometric means we're gonna be multiplying by the same number. So what are algebraic ways to define geometric sequences? So here's a few examples. So here, start at one and it goes, it looks like times two, times two, times two, times two. Okay, so that's a geometric sequence. Can you see that? Eight times two, 16 times two. So R, which is gonna be called our common ratio, in, the, in arithmetic it was our common difference. So our common ratio is righty divided by lefty. In the last lesson, it was um, righty minus lefty. That's how we got D. Okay, so righty divided by lefty is R. So here, see 243, what do those get multiplied by? Times what, times what, times what? Well, it, notice uh, 243, 181 is one third of 243. 27 is one third. So here it's easy to see, three is one third of nine. So it goes times one third, times one third, times one third. So R equals one third. Okay, how about this one right here? Okay, so what are these getting multiplied by? So it looks like a negative number right there. So so negative uh, 128 times a negative, a negative one half will get me a negative or a positive 64. Remember, when you do a negative times a negative will get us a positive right there. So uh, dividing by two is the same as multiplying by one half, except this is negative one half. So whenever you see the signs alternating, then R is going to be a negative number. So here it's negative one half. So R is always righty minus lefty. That's our common difference. So here's our formula, you guys. So an explicit rule, your, your nth term, which is f of n, is your first term times r to the n, or your first term times r to the n minus 1, depending on if you're, uh, where your first term starts. Okay, does it start at 0? If it starts at 0, it's this one. If it starts at 1, it's this one. Okay, and then r is our common ratio. Okay, all right, so the recursive rule is r times the term before that, okay, where uh, either f of 0 is the first term or f of 1 is the first term, depending on if the sequence starts at 0 or 1. So let's write explicit rules for these geometric sequences. Now I'm going to tell my kiddos to disregard this part right here because you don't need it. It's mumbo jumbo that you just don't need. So don't worry about that stuff right there, okay? All right, but the book gives that, and it's there to confuse you, okay? There it is again. It's not there anymore. You get the same formula by just looking at these these real numbers right here, okay? So um, here, let's go back for a second here. So so it goes from, uh, starts at n equals 0, n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's, you know, whatever, 20 minus 1, and this would be 20, okay? So this is the term before this term right here, and it just means it goes on for ever and ever and ever. So don't worry about that if you see that, you guys, okay? All right, so the first term is uh, 3, okay? And then uh, the ratio is righty uh, divided by lefty, so just pick any numbers. I like the smallest number, 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Or you can do 12 divided by 6 equals 2. 24 divided, any of them will work. Righty divided by lefty, lefty. Just pick any two. Okay, so your explicit formula, does it start at 0 or does it start at 1? And if you don't know which one to use, you guys, then um, uh, plug in uh, 0. So 2 to the 0 is 1. So, so anything to the 0 is 1. If we plugged in n equals 0 right there, this becomes 1. So we get 3 times 1 is 3. 3, so it's this one, not this one. If we plugged in 0 right here, 0 minus 1 is negative 1, which is 2 to the negative 1, which is 1 over 2 to the positive 1. This would be 3 halves. So which one gets me 3 right here? This one does. So that's our explicit rule right there, okay? So our recursive rule is r times the term before that, where n is greater than or equal to this number right here. One more than this number, sorry. Okay, and you always got to state what's the first number, f of 0 equals 3. Okay, so f of 0 equals 3 on recursives. All right, let's try this one. Okay, here's the first term. This time it starts at 1. Okay, so so here it is. So the first term, and then um, r is righty divided by lefty. You can pick any pair of numbers, this divided by this, and divide fractions, go back to fourth grade, 
or this divided by this, or this divided by this. This is the easiest pair, this divided by this, okay? Because they told us it's a geometric sequence. So just pick any two successive numbers and divide. So r is 5, okay? So the explicit rule, are we going to use this one or this one? This one's when it starts at 0. This one's when it starts at 1. So we're going to use this one right here, okay? All right, and then uh, so the recursive rule is r times the term before that where n is greater than or equal to the next one up, okay? And you always have to state the term before that, so f of 1 equals 5. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, given the geometric uh, sequence rule, use the table to generate values and draw a graph. Okay, so here's the rule, 2 times 2 to the n. So we're going to plug in 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the, all these n values right here. Let's go ahead and do that right there. Make a table. So f of 0 is 2 times 2 to the 0. Anything times to the 0 is 1, so we get 2. So at 0, we're going to graph 2. Okay, so let's plug in 1. So 2 times 2 to the 1. Well, that's just 2 times 2, which is 4. Over 1, up 4. Plug in 2. 2 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So there it is up there. Okay, now let's do this next one. We get 16. Now we can't graph that. Given this graph, it would be way up here somewhere. And then, But they do want us to fill in the table. So let's go ahead and fill in the table. And we should get that right there. Okay. Now geometric sequences always graph. They never graph a straight line. They graph what's called a J-curve. So I don't know if you can see a J-curve going like that. So it kind of curves up. All right, so here's number two. So um, 0.5 times, so this is a recursive formula. 0.5 times a term before that, where n is greater than or equal to 1, and f of 0 equals 16. So let's go ahead and plug in 16 right there, and we'll plot it right there, because they told us the first term is 16. All right, so uh, f of n now becomes 0.5 times the term before that. Okay, so f of 1 is going to be 0.5 times the 1 minus 1, so f of 0. Well, since f of 0 is 16, uh, then we plug in 0.5 times 16, and we get 8. Now, notice these are going by 2s, 2, 4, so here's 1, here's 8. Let's plug in f of 2. So f of 2 is going to be, we're going to plug in 2 right there, 2 minus 1 is 1, so it's 0.5 times f of 1. Well, since f of 1 equals 8, 0.5 times 8 equals 4. So here, n equals 1, we get 4. Let's keep going, okay? So this is a recursive, okay? So f of 3 is 0.5 times f of 2. f of 4 is 0.5 times whatever f of 3 is, so we've got to figure out this guy first to get this guy. And then f of 5 is going to be 0.5 times f of 4. So we've got to do each one separately. So we get um, uh, uh, 0.5 times 4, because it's the term before that, which is 2. This is going to be 0.5 times 2, which is 1. So when we graph that, that's going to get down here. And then 0.5 times 1 is just a half, so it's going to be right down there. Okay, all right. If you guys are in my class, I'm going to give you that assignment. Take care.